Hey there, welcome to my channel, my name is Hashemi. As promised in my previous video where I talk about my bullet journal setup and my reading journal setup on Notion. In today's video, I want to show you the breakdown of how I set it up there in Notion. Now, if you don't want to follow through as I break it down and just want to go over to the template itself, uh, I'm fine with it. You can just skip over the whole video and just head over to the description box and copy the link, duplicate the template and just do whatever you want from there. But if you're curious about how I set it up, let's just jump into it. So here actually there have been some slight changes happening since the last time. I added some few more stuff and some improvement here and there. First let me quickly recap on how it was. So this is the first version. 1.0 i have like stats uh my monthly glance basically like all the tbr or the list of books that i read that particular month and then i have like the database of my book list all the books that i added to the machine database the last part is like a reading logs is a entry of my all of my reading session of the particular book so the overall structure is still the same so i brought it up to the newest version and this is the newest version. Ta-da! So, slight changes. So here basically, uh, the overall structure is still the same. I just like tidy it up a bit. I uh, added some icon here and there just to make it more playful and visually pleasing. I updated some visual presentation for the stats and added more stuff here. Uh, simplify a lot of things and just utilize uh, a lot of features that Notion has. Alright, so let's break it down from the top. So starting from the top, I have like kind of like a quote block. This is just to kind of motivate myself. Uh, the next part here is the stat. Uh, this is basically all the things that I want to track this year, my reading journey. Uh, like for example, hour span. This is something that I personally I want to track this year and some financial stuff as well. Now the reason I'm doing this stat basically because honestly speaking, I hate uh, good reads here in books so i have the idea this year to create my own stats so later by the end of the year i would be able to create like my own year in books with the data that i have because i have the full control of all these stats uh, and all the data actually can be accessed i can get gather it from the database uh, i'm gonna explain later on that data database part so on the left part, I have a uh, good read reading challenge. Now this is something that I didn't actually wanted to add because uh, earlier this year, I told myself that I'm not gonna uh, do good read reading challenge. So this is just me experimenting to see whether I can embed some good read widgets to here or not. Well, technically you, you can, but you cannot directly do it from good read itself. So, you need to have some kind of like a wrapper to the widget uh, so here i'm using like apps call, called option this website they actually provide uh, a lot of notion widget but for goodreads you need to use this kind of like diy embed url where you can like uh, paste the widget the html code for, for the goodreads widget here and then it will create the like a, your own widget kind of thing and then on the next part, I have like a distribution of my genre read. Here, I still using counter widget uh, that comes from a website called Indify. Indify is also a website where they provide a Notion widget. So if you want to use some of the widget here, you can grab it here and paste it to Notion as well. All right, the next part here is the interesting part. So I have like a monthly glance. So this part will show me like all the TBR, my current reads and list of the book that I read that uh, that particular month on the right side. Uh, on the left side, I have like a bookish calendar that I added uh, recently, actually. The initial idea was I would have uh, like a calendar view that and then I would have to manually add all the events that are happening to that calendar. But then thankfully, a uh, big shout out to Hesty for doing this. She actually created a Google calendar there where it uh, compiles most of the bookish event happening that happening in Indonesia. So. I just use that instead of creating manually but you can also create manual calendar view and create your own like event database at the bottom of it there's a reading challenge this is also another database uh, 
before I go into reading challenge, I'm gonna go to the right side first. So, so basically, all these three uh, view is basically something called a link database view, and I love using that so much. I use it everywhere, basically. So, what you see here, the three part here, the three view here, is actually using the same database, one single database for all, all of this. So if you click on this, you will go to the original database and it's the master list of all the books list that I added to Notion. Now here I actually went extra mile and tried to export all the books that I uh, added to Goodreads, to my Goodreads and imported here. So now I have all the books that I added to Goodreads self, like all the books that I said to want to read there is also here. So it's pretty cool. I have all the lists already here without having to manually add, add it by myself. So here in this master list, I have like a different view. I have like reading timeline. Uh, this is my favorite view because I can see my reading journey. I also have 2021. Basically, it's just, uh, just all the list of the books that I'm reading um, or I added this year. I have like read by year. You can filter it by the year you read and want to read and own books so this is all the books that i own and so i'm gonna go through quickly just few columns that uh, uh that important so here i also add like uh, financial stuff that purchase and the amount of the money that i uh, spend for that book so this is how also i'm gonna be able to track and uh, there's two relation this uh, two column reading logs and reading challenge so basically the reading logs and reading challenge is a relation database to the master list so uh, one book could have like a multiple logs reading logs and also multiple reading challenge i have uh, a lot of also like a column that called draw up in notion so basically that's the column where uh, it gets the data from the table that you relate to so like for example last page and last read uh, is uh, came it came from reading logs so this is for me to uh, get the date when i last read the book and the last page is basically the last page that i read it's just a simple column here i have a progress uh, the progress here is a formula that it's fairly simple actually it looks messy but the overall concept is basically the same as how goodreads uh, tracking works so you either put the progress number this is a percentage number or it will use the last page now i also uh, calculate it based on the format that i read so if i read physical book then i would use the last page to calculate the progress but if I read like a digital, then I would just use the progress number here. And all the other stuff is just the formatting to make to make it like looks like a like a block here. And it will turn into a check mark when you're done with the, the book. Another part that is also a roll up is my hours read. So this is the other stuff that I, I also wanted to track. And the way I track it is basically uh, each reading log, each entry of my reading session, I would clock in the time I start reading it and finish reading it. So I would have the hours uh, spent on that uh, reading log. So I'm gonna explain a bit more on the reading uh, log after this. So yeah, basically all that column, yeah, like VR read is also kind of a formula to get the the year that I finished reading it. This is useful to use for that, uh, for this view just now, where I can filter it by the year read. So I can put like 2021 here and I will get all the books that I finished in 2021. All right, so back to the link database view just now. So basically the cool thing about this link database view is, is that technically you can use, just use this one single database anywhere in your notion pages so let's go back to the main page here now this is all how i set up the link database view basically just using the filter so here for the tbr 
I use this column called month to be read. So this is the column that I use to set up like uh, my monthly TBR. So uh, when February comes, for example, I would switch it to February and then it will update uh, the list to the all the book that I'm, I'm gonna read uh, in February. So the way to do that, you just go to your like master list. Let's say uh, you have like your list of book that you want to read and you can set that, set the month to be read, like for example, for Let's say for becoming uh, Michelle Obama, I want to read in March, for example. You reset that in March, and then then later in that link database view, when you set it to March, you will get uh, becoming in the list. Now, I use this link database basically everywhere here in my Notion journal. Uh, I have it inside the book view as well for the template. Uh, for the reading logs, uh, but before going to the reading logs first, I want to go to the reading challenge. So basically, reading challenge is a relation database as well. So this link to the master list, and the idea is that you can have uh, multiple books to be included to the reading challenge. So this was my experiment as well. So I use uh, Hestia's uh, reading challenge as an example. Twenty one books in twenty twenty one. So here you have the uh, image. Uh, actually, I'm not using this uh, for right now. Uh, the initiator, the link to the RC, the date, uh, the why uh, I have completed. Now this is actually could be a formula uh, because here you have a book, book target and this formula is just the formatting to looks like this kind of format. And I have the uh, column, the roll up column to calculate the uh, the list of book that finished from the master list. So basically, this will check the finished reading property from the master list. So this is another link database view. So I'm using like filter that checks the reading challenge. Yeah, I just know there's a column called reading challenge. So uh, on the master list, whenever you wanted to include that book to the reading challenge, you just uh, set that book to the that, read, that particular reading challenge. So the cool thing about this is that uh, whenever you finish the books, like for example for Barack Obama, A Promised Land, it will calculate it here as a book's finish. So let's say if I set it, uh, finish reading here, uh, then you will get like book finish uh, set to one here. Now. Uh, as I said, this completed can be also a formula where it calculates if book finish equals to book target, then it will change the checkbox to complete. Yeah, I'm, I just love using formula for a lot of things because you don't have to manually update anything, right? So, yeah. All right, the last part that I want to break down here in my Notion journal is my reading log. So this reading log basically is an entry to each uh, reading session that I do for a particular book. So so here I have like date, right, date read start and date read end where I also need to put in the time. So I have here for example 10.22 until 11.05 a.m. I read this book. Uh, and these two columns will be calculated uh, here in hours read. So basically this is a formula to calculate uh, between those two. Now this hours read is going to be used in the master list uh, as, as you saw just now so I would have the sum number of the hours spent for that books in the in the book template itself actually but I can also see the sum total so this is also the thing that I use to track my hours spent for my reading journey start so here like I can see for example for Return of Sherlock Holmes I would have all the hours read so basically this is the total number of hours that i spend reading this book the last read is basically just the i use the uh, dead read end so in that reading log it will get the latest of the entry and use that as the last read same goes as the last page whenever you you input your entry your log uh, when you read that last page become the like the latest page read to that particular book. So these reading logs will be get enormously massive. It's gonna be long as so 
the way you input your reading logs basically you, you don't need to go to the database again this is the beauty of the link database view you just go to your current reads here and you open one of the books that you are reading for example or oh, today i'm reading Cersei. i would go here and in the book template i already add a link database view for the reading log so you don't have to go through the reading logs uh, database you can just go here and here you actually can clearly see your uh, numbers as well in the individual book itself so if you want to add in a new entry you will go to here and set your time here so another thing that i added to this reading log is basically each time each reading session it notes to it well as you can see sometimes i don't i still uh, trying to build my habits on that but when you do uh the the format for the note itself i don't have uh, any particular notes yet but this is something that is going to be useful when i create like a review or like a wrap up in here so i can just like uh, gather all the notes that i have taken on all the reading session i'll just have all the notes uh, to be summarized in the in the bottom part here so yeah that's pretty much about it that's how my notion setup looked like so um it's pretty simple right i already created a template for this so you can just use that uh, duplicate that and just edit it refine it as you like uh, as close to what you want what you need if you don't need some of the part like for example you probably don't want to track your time as well your hours read you can just remove that and you can just use the date instead uh, but yeah do whatever you want from this uh, template later on uh, on the template i'm not gonna include my notes because it's kind of private and embarrassing <laughs> for people to see it but i'm gonna keep the other stuff there and you can edit it uh, by yourself so there you go my notion reading journal setup the newest version i had pretty much fun uh, setting it up actually i spent more on setting up this notion rather than reading i think <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I, I do love to do all this stuff, all the formula and all the stuff. So if you have any other cool tricks or any tips for the Notion, I would love to hear it from you guys and we'll try to also add it to my reading journal setup. So it's been fun. Thank you for those who are watching this breakdown thing until the end. I'm sorry if it's dragging so much. I appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.